Hello and welcome to the Helix Native Quick Start series. In this video, we're going to show you how to work with impulse responses within Helix Native. Impulse responses are a tool that can be used to simulate the sound of a mic'd up cabinet. To start using impulse responses in Helix Native, select the Impulses tab to the left. Like Helix hardware products, Helix Native has a library that can store up to 128 impulse responses, allowing you to load third-party IRs. Line 6 offers an excellent pack of IRs called the Allure Pack, and you can download them for free at line6.com forward slash Allure. Let's add some IRs from the Allure Pack. The easiest way is to click and drag the .wav files from the file window directly into the IR list. You can also use the Import, Export, or Clear buttons shown here. Now that we've imported the IRs, let's add an IR block into the signal chain instead of the stock cab model. There are two sizes of IRs. 1024 and 2048. If you have enough processing power in your instance of Helix Native, you can use larger IRs. Let's use the 2048 impulse response since we have it available. Each IR in the impulses list will have a number which corresponds with each IR block in the signal chain. Let's choose the IR we want to use by setting the IR select parameter. In this case, number 3. Each IR block has parameters available like low cut and high cut that you can use to adjust some of the sonic characteristics for that IR. A good rule of thumb is to leave the mix at 100% and level at normalized negative 18 dB, which is typical for most IR packs. That's it for this Helix Native Quick Start video. Thanks for watching.